explode the whip. And please eat the chocolate because I do not like chocolate myself, and I will not bring it back with me to see you. understand me? Yes? Are you there? I hope there are a lot of classes work. You understand? I hope that a lot of uh, teachers are here because when I uh, was young and I came from school, I had the feeling I missed something. You know, well, I, that I married a teacher. <laughs> so I'm really honored that uh, you all came here because Wikimania time, time is scarce and it's precious, and you have decided to come with me and see this as an investment, and I hope that you have a good work. So, presenting, teaching, and Wikipedia is my subject. I'm the German president of the Dutch chapter, and uh, sometimes I have the occasion to present Wikipedia, and over the years, yes, <laughs> and over the years, well, I saw that uh, the audience didn't get always the way I wanted, and I talked to people, and uh, I think I have improved some things, and I would like to share with you the experience. So many topics when you talk about Wikipedia. Terminology, I am not a grammar Nazi, not anymore, but I am a uh, terminology fetishist, so I want to have precise expressions. Today with Charles Mock, you uh, remember he asked you, uh, have you ever tried to use the internet in China? And uh, many people said yes, because they thought they are in China, but he meant mainland China. And the last thing is the Roomberg Education Program. Roomberg is just my street address in the Netherlands. And this program, it doesn't exist, so it's a plan. And, well, maybe I can make it happen in the Netherlands. So, this is the great wall of Wikipedia subjects. So, there are so many topics. And a Wikipedian by nature, he tries to, to talk about all topics. Yes? Encyclopedia, and that's just wrong because uh, you cannot, how to say, in Latin they have a saying, multum non multa. Multum means a lot, and multa is the plural, and means uh, be exhaustive, read a lot about one or a few topics, and not about many. Yeah? Much, but not many. Multum non multa. So, my standard presentation is just about three of these bricks of the wall. Our title principles. Wikipedia, the free, free, encyclopedia. And I'm exhaustive on these, and I leave everything else away. I don't talk about the movement. Talk a, li a little bit about the movement. I say, well, this is the Wikimedia movement. And that's Wikileaks. And we have nothing in common with Wikileaks. Free knowledge. My friends said, Zico, don't talk about free knowledge. It's boring, it's technical, it's legal. No, it depends on how you present it. And free knowledge is our central principle. No one, nothing would work in Wikipedia without this principle. And especially if you tell people to edit Wikipedia, they must know what are the consequences. So when you edit Wikipedia, the text can be used elsewhere later. And it's important to know for people. Of course, if you have a uh, different different subject, a different audience, you talk about the movement, then of course you speak about other bricks. Yes, and you will uh, have, uh, well, Jimmy Wales, for example. I always use Jimmy Wales in my presentation because he's a person, he is someone with a background, motive, goals, 
that is very accessible for the audience, much more accessible than abstract business. And he's a likable fellow. Now, one example of being exhaustive, uh, I used to have something about language versions of Wikipedia in my presentations, like this. So I give you a few seconds to read. Yeah, it, it's just wrong. It's just too much information, and uh, maybe you can, you can uh, cut it down to this. And I know the natural Wikipedia would say, no, that's terrible. Yes, it's not complete, so it's not correct. But the truth is, most people, people mostly don't know anything about Wikipedia, but they know that there are several languages, and if they don't know it, they are not interested in this. Yes? Only two groups of people are interested in language versions, in languages. First, linguists. Second, strange people like me, and maybe some of you. Yes? And uh, of course, it depends on you. Uh, when you live in a country where language is an issue, then you should make an issue. But in Germany and the Netherlands, for example, it wouldn't make much sense unless you talk to people who um, are about the local dialect, which I will do in uh, this, uh, this year later. Oh, this is a terrible thing. Um, uh, Thai, I asked you uh, before, uh, could you, you have a professional voice, read this loud? Okay. Um, you can hear me. Free software is a matter of liberty, not price. Thank you. This is the usual explanation for what is free software or free knowledge or open content. I didn't understand I about it. In German, I asked an American who speaks German and I said, Chuck, can you explain me what does this mean? And he said, Zico, uh, just forget it. In the English language you have a problem. The word free, many people think free that means you don't have to pay money for it. Yes, and in German you don't have the problem. In German people would think anything of free, but you, you, just, you don't use it in German. It's not necessary. And it's just confusing. Because you talk to people about, don't think of free beer. Well, what do people do when you say that? When you're in, Ger when you're in Germany and you, say to, you talk to people about free beer, what will be the consequence? You will make them bark like a dog. Where, 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 where. As it's just distracting, it doesn't help you to explain. Free speech, what is free speech? It's Benjamin Franklin, it is a printing press, newspapers, it's a speaker's corner in London Hyde Park. But no one will understand what you mean in this context. It is folklore. It's an insider joke just for Wikipedians and other crazy people. No one will ever have something of this. I use this. A suitable picture, uh, I, I got it via Facebook, uh, all audiences. I use it for el the elderly, for young people, uh, and everyone between them. You may have heard of this. Maybe some of you know that. Any one of you? Oh, you're a Facebook friend of mine. You so this is an ape. I forgot the species, but this ape is anywhere in a jungle in Asia. And there was a famous photographer who uh, well, had a lunch break. And then the ape came, and he saw this camera, it's interesting, and uh, he played with it. And finally, the ape made this picture by himself. And then I asked my audience, well, I am showing you this picture. Am I allowed to do so? Is this legal? Do I have the rights? And uh, people will say anything. They will say uh, the rights. Well, the ape made the photo, took the picture, so he has the rights. You must ask the ape. <laughs> yes? Or the photographer. Yes, the owner of the camera. No? It's the owner of the jungle or the piece of land where the ape lives, or the government. They have the rights. And the only correct answer is, no one has the rights because copyright is for humans and apes cannot, they have not the creativity you need by law to be, to be a copyright holder. So this is public domain. You can use it. 
it's, uh, I don't know, it, it, well, this is for the comments, but uh, it, it's key there, yeah, yes. Okay, so this is uh, the way how I introduce copyright issue and uh, free knowledge. And I used to do it this way, so copyright, uh, what, you must always be precise. Copyright is good, and we are not about to abolish it, and we cannot, it is the law. But what we don't like, or where we think, well, you can improve that, that is the classical use of copyright. Which means I can show you something here, it's blank because I don't want to pay money for it. You know, classical use of copyright, <coughs> a problem. Not good if you want to write collaboratively on text. The other thing is public domain, a nice picture. I don't have to mention the author, the photographer, it's free. It's over, it's the public domain. But public domain has also disadvantages. You all know of it. So we need a middle way, and the middle way is our concept of free knowledge. Then I explain what exactly is free knowledge. And free we should also always do hyphen marks because it is a special definition. And look at the colors. Yeah, a red color I use for copyright, it is uh, uh, Yeah, you're not allowed to. Green color is harmony and friendship, it's all right. And what we are doing, free knowledge is somewhere between. It's in this uh, background color of Wikipedia, it's blue. Blue is cool, blue is rational. Yeah, it's a smart idea what we are doing. Also the shapes, yeah? edgy, yeah. edgy people don't like edgy shapes. Um, curves are very sympathetic and uh, free knowledge is like an egg, the egg of Columbus. So, and this is now the part about terminology and then again, I would you read this from this. Yes? <laughs> But you're quick now, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can. There's a smash based on dash and power by three of the thread, together with smash and dash and other smash and dash and dash and dash and dash. Yes, thank you. I think we got the point. Yeah, this is stupid. It's just, uh, how do you call this in English? It, uh, gibberish? Is that the name? Gibberish? Yes, but let me ask you this question. Be very honest with yourself. If you think that this is gibberish, why don't you think that this is gibberish? Yes, this is a typical promotional text about Wikipedia, the Wikimedia movement. And what I, I just did, I exchanged uh, here with Wiki is smash, and media is dash, foundation is cash, of course, and so on. And uh, yeah, it, it doesn't mean anything uh, by itself or even a word like free, yeah, it, it, people don't understand it because it has a very special definition. Commons, I did the following, I talked to people about creative commons, very important, and then I talked about the Wikimedia commons. And then we, we just got it commons, and people were confused. Yeah, they thought I was talking about the legal concept of creative commons. Now I was talking about Wikimedia commons, 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 commons. And so on, you, you got the point. Yes, so be careful. Don't use too many unknown words. So, and as I said, I'm a fetishist about terminology. Uh, this is a small uh, set of examples. Never, never use wiki as abbrevi abbreviation for Wikipedia. It's just not. Wiki is a general term. It's a concept of a website. There are other websites. Any Tom, Dick, or Johnny can use the word wiki, like WikiLeaks. That's not us. We are Wikipedia, we are proud of Wikipedia, and we don't want to be blamed for WikiLeaks and other sort of things. Wikimedia Commons, I just explained, always call it Wikimedia Commons. That's clear. Always when there is the risk of confusion, use the exactly the exact term. And the last example from my own chapter, I'm I'm from Wikimedia Nederland. In the international movement we use WM and the code of the country. W M N L. In the beginning, we used a different abbreviation. Anything we made in Netherlands, so V W N. And well, you must decide. Use one of them, but don't go for your, on your website. Yes. So one last example. Uh, there has been a university who wanted to have a partnership with us, and they said, "Hello, Wikimedia Foundation Netherlands." 
And uh, this is what they wanted. Uh, I made a list of all their proposals, of the deal, how to cooperate with them. And the only thing we are allowed to do is this last thing. Yes? So, uh, words are not just meaning, it's not only about confusion, it, really, it means something. Yeah, there's something behind it. We are not the Wikimedia Foundation. We can't give, cannot give them orders, they cannot give orders to us. I never present myself, I'm from Wikimedia. Never do that. Be specific. And there's also one advantage, people are confused. Wikipedia, media, what's different? But if you say Wikipedia, Wikimedia movement, it's more distinctive. Yeah, people understand the difference. So, and uh, I'm, I am at, uh, at the time, but uh, Hagen will remind me. The Roomberg education program, as I said, it does not exist, it's, it's a plan. And I thought if I want to teach Wikipedia and other things, I don't have to think about, well, I love Wikipedia, I want to talk about it and tell people how to do things. No, do it the other way around. Start thinking, you need people, you need active people, volunteers, contractors in your association, in the Wikimedia movement, what kind of people, what kind of roles, what kind of skills. And this is how I started thinking. A new board member must know about the movement, otherwise he wouldn't understand anything. What does he have to learn to be a good board member? A Wikipedia teacher. Especially if you don't come from Wikipedia. And what do they have to learn in order to become a Wikipedia teacher? If we want someone to send to a glam, a museum, and, and have good corporations, what does this person have to know? So I, I made this, this uh, schedule. Uh, the, this is a gray uh, thing to see on the red white side. And it's all beginning with a basic module of Wikipedia. It means you learn how to edit a wiki page and something very general. Yes, how to use talk pages. Because um, when, when you work for with the Wikimedia Foundation, you often have to communicate with the wiki page. You must learn that. The second thing is the advanced module of Wikipedia. It means you learn how to write a whole article. It's quite a different challenge. Yes, from the beginning to the end. And it can take you two days or more. Module Wikimedia Movement is about the many things that I, I showed you the brick. Again, the great brick of Wikipedia. Uh, wall of uh, Wikipedia, and this must be extensive, many, many different things. So when you go to Wikimania and you have learned that module, you know what people are talking about. And then there are specialist modules, uh, if you are a board member, you must learn about uh, your specific organization, the bylaws, important things in your chapter. The other thing is, when you uh, want to become a good Wikipedia author, you don't have to learn about organization, but you need the basic module and the advanced module, of course. Write a Wikipedia article. And so on. This is just a scheme. Yeah, it doesn't exist now, but I think this is necessary that we always can offer a good concrete offer to say, well, this you must learn in advance, yeah, before the advanced module, you must learn the basic module, and later, this is the goal, later you can do these things. Well, I have been uh, uh, a little bit more uh, concrete about what we expect from people. Don't let people come to the basic module if they can't use a computer. I have taught uh, elderly people and uh, the German association thought, well, there is a people's university, yes, <coughs> evening classes, and there is a computer course for the elderly. And the German chapter thought, oh, that's, that's good. So elderly people who do something with computers, yes, they can learn Wikipedia. No, these are people who are digital analphabets, and they go to these lessons because they are bad at computers. They have problems in using different tabs and other basic skills. You don't want to waste your time with those people. They are nice people, but it's not our task to make them internet savvy or use a mouse. It's fine, but if you want to do it, but it's not our task. So I, I think I can skip these things uh, I explained before. But one important thing, I watched other Wikipedians who gave Wikipedia lessons. Very 
nice guys and they knew a lot about Wikipedia. But I saw them explaining things. Of, yeah, you see this for brackets, use this, use this. You see, you understand? Yeah, people not. Anything that I really understand. Now, five minutes later, they forgot it. That is not teaching. Teaching means always to get feedback from the people. That you understand what they understood. Ask the pupils. Yes, make exercises. Have a test. A test is good. Many Wikipedians are anarchists. They hate schools. They hate teachers. They hate tests. No. Tests are good for the feedback. The people know, yes, I'm proud of me. I can do it. And uh, I saw people, uh, Wikipedia showing how to make old text, italics, section, section types, types are good, references, yes, and, and, and again, oh, this little thing I can show you, oh, why don't we are busy with this, and again, and again. It makes just no sense. Because if you, for example, we don't want people to use bold. We don't want you, okay? bold is only one time in a Wikipedia article at the beginning. And most times when you when you correct a little thing in Wikipedia text, you don't use bold, you don't use italics. References. Only teach about references if you really do something with it. If you show how you do a footnote for verifiability, citing sources, uh, rep reputable sources, and so on. That's for the advanced module. Yes? It's a waste of time. Don't speak about footnotes in the basic model. What you should talk about is people must learn to ignore code. They open the editor, they see the wiki code, the wiki syntax, the symbols, terrible. They must learn to ignore it and see the text they want to program. That works. Teach them about namespaces. Extremely important about every wiki. Wikipedia is one website. There are pages in it divided into namespaces. In every namespace, the rules can be different. Very, very important. Talk pages. Tell people how to communicate. Don't think that is a given thing. And above all, tell them about the user account. Use the user account. They must be logged in to edit Wikipedia. Otherwise, communication with them is terribly difficult. They must use the user account, explain them why and how to use it. There are many important features of the user account. Show it to them. Don't take that, that for granted. Okay, this was my teaching and presenting about presenting and teaching Wikipedia. Uh, I hope it was useful for you. I'm, I would be glad to learn from you. I don't know how much time we have. Otherwise, I think you are you are savvy enough to find my address and uh, I would really appreciate to learn from you and have your feedback. Thank you very much. So, who wants to moderate? Anyone? Question? Anyone? Third one. Yes, please. Yes? No, no, no. No, no? To try, <laughs> but uh, I forgot your name again. Yolanda, uh, you are looking this way at me. You have a question. society of a village and he says oh we have so many members they want to learn Wikipedia it's nonsense there are people who want to have a nice evening young person telling about the internet yes and we send a volunteer and he goes there he's prepared and we don't provide teaching aids because we are anarchists and it's a waste of time no one will learn Wikipedia there they don't have the motive they don't have the skills 
do it the other way around. Let people come to you, in your office, literally your life's office, I believe. Yes? In your Wikimedia office, uh, arrange a lessons and then say, come to us, pay 20 euros, I don't know. Yeah, people are willing to pay for lessons, it's normal. And the one person of that historical society who really wants to learn Wikipedia, he will come to you. And another person from another village and so on and so on. Don't go to people and waste your time. You must filter the people and how to filter it by a good incentive. People who pay money want to make use of the investment they are willing to learn. Okay, so is Lian was. Do we have one minute, one, one question? So Lian, you was first. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering how you uh, deploy this kind of thinking because I just went to an education program uh, from Wikimedia Foundation. So, uh, but what I heard is like I think they have like basic module actually. They they have this online for newbies, for students, for professors, uh, and for another kind of target market. Uh, uh, so, but I. From here, I think they it mostly come from the community who want to, who want to present themselves. Uh, do you do you cooperate with the uh, uh, university with uh, uh, in Europe? And if so, what's the difference between you and the Wikimedia Foundation? Okay, yes, yes. I okay. think it's about are there already uh, concepts or lessons or is the foundation doing chapters and can we cooperate with the uh, university? Well, I think that it's, a, it's a huge complicated uh, subject by itself. Uh, I want to say, for example, the students at the university, they just don't have the good motive. They, are in, they learned how to edit Wikipedia for one article, for the credit points, and then 99% just leave. Okay, it was nice to do that, but if, if 10 students or 20 students write 20 new articles, it doesn't matter. Wikipedia has millions of articles, so that cannot be a goal. That's not sustainable. It's really about filtering the people and their motives, and then we might have more success than we had before. But uh, indeed, this is something uh, where the education program should be more exhaustive about. And I really find it necessary that the chapters or the foundation provide good teaching aids. Put a little bit this, a little bit that here, a flyer, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't work. It must be one concept that that one thinks belong to each other and that you can go on to the whole lesson and become a wiser Wikipedia. I hope so. Yes, and I think I know there's a third person doing a presentation. I don't want to steal from this time. Yes. Thank you very much again. And I, I can give you my business card. One question, please. One question. No, no, sorry, I, I really, we shouldn't uh, steal the time for the next presentation.